Hey Stampers, Diane Dimitri here with DeeDeeStamps.com and today I'm here to show you how to make this cute little um, uh, gift tag or a gift card holder for a, for a fun birthday present. And the products that I'm using today are the Sprinkles of Life stamp set, which is our Ronald McDonald stamp sets you're stamping up this year. And I love this set. I think it's very versatile. I think it's probably one of the most versatile sets that we've ever had. But what I really love about it is that um, $3 for every purchase of this stamp set goes to the Ronald McDonald House. And that's just an awesome charity to support. And the other thing that I'm using is the matching coordinating punch that goes with that. You can see it's a tree builder punch. And this is a great punch by itself. But then when you add it in with the stamp set, you can see where um, you can punch out some of those pieces and just make it easier to use. And so to begin with on this little project, I am using the Cherry on Top Designer Series paper, and you can see there's lots of different kinds of paper in here. It's really fun, bold colors, bright, bold colors. But I went ahead and chose one of the one of the uh, oh, excuse me, one of the patterns in there. This one with the balloons on the back, or on this side, and then the green. Um, dash lines on this side and I'm going to go ahead what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an envelope with the envelope punch board and so when you look at your envelope punch board I am making an envelope that is three I don't know if that's three inches by three inches so I need a piece of cardstock that's five and a quarter by five and a quarter and so I'm going to line that up on my cutter here five and a quarter and I'll save these because I'm sure I'll use them for some other project by five and a quarter and then I'm going to come in with my envelope punch board. And this is a great little punch board. You can make all different sizes, lots of different sizes of envelopes for lots of different things. But this one actually is two and five eighths is my mark up here that I'm lining up to. With the punch board, you go diagonally and you punch. And then the rest of the time around, you line it up with the score line and that little um, arrow that comes out of there. And I'm going to go around on all four sides doing that same thing, lining that up. And on this designer series paper, it just depends. Sometimes you can see better on this side of the print, and sometimes you can actually see better on this side. And you'll just have to um, look at that when you're trying to lining up, when you're trying to um, when you're trying to score your lines. So the other thing that I want you to know is that it also has on here on this end, it has a little corner rounder. So I'm going to fold these in. and bring this up to make my little envelope. And I do want the balloons, I think, on the outside. Well, maybe not. It's so hard to decide. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so you have to decide which side you want to be the outside of your folder, which side you want to be the inside. And then that very top one, I'm just going to go ahead and just give that top a rounded corner. Once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little adhesive on here. So I'll go that way with it, and then I'll bring a little bit more adhesive. I'm just using the snail on this because I don't suspect it's going to get a lot of dings and bumps and bruises. But if you wanted to, you could use our new tear and tape sticky um, tape that would hold that together. So there is the little pocket that I did. And now to do the inside of my little card, which is this here, um, it's just kind of a lot of fun to use that punch in a different way, that scallop punch. So I'm coming in with a piece of tip top taupe and the measurement is three by three and three quarters and I'm going to go ahead and use the scallop topper punch. And now this isn't going to fit in the gutter but I'm going to go ahead and bring it over the top of the gutter and around to the back and then you just want to make sure that you can feel it that it's butted up against the edge there. Uh, the paper is and you can feel that in the punch and then I just make sure I'm kind of lined up on both sides evenly. Punch down. And this just gives you a new way to use the punch. And then I'm going to go ahead and trim off those two pieces at the, on the edges. And what that gives me is that gives me a piece. This is actually two and three quarters that I can actually line up right inside that square. The square happens to be a three by three square now. So that's how you do that. Now, the stamping part, I'm coming in with some colors of cardstock and the tip top taupe ink. And I'm going to start by stamping up the little cupcake bottom. Now this could be a cupcake bottom or a basket bottom. And I'm going to stamp that on a piece of the designer series paper. And then I'm going to stamp my cupcake top, which could be a cupcake top. 
or a cloud, depending on what you wanted to make it. And then I have a candle that I want to do in the yellow. And so to start with, I'm going to go ahead with that tree builder punch. And you can see how that, that uh, cupcake top fits right into that punch. And you punch that out and you've got that piece done. Now these other two pieces, this one on the designer series paper, this is a pretty quick easy cut. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim this out. for my bottom of my cupcake. And I like how the designer series paper makes it look like a cupcake wrapper. And then the candle has to be cut out too. So once I have those cut and ready to go, I'm gonna take my piece here that is two and three quarter by two and three quarter and I am just going to stamp it near the bottom with the happy birthday. And then add my cupcake bottom and then using a dimensional I'm gonna go ahead and add the top of my cupcake and then just with a little bit of the snail I'm gonna put my candle on and then one of the things that I did is I took the dazzling details that's our glitter and glue and added a little glitter to the top of my, or to the flame. And then I actually went on and just added just a tad bit of glitter and details, or glitter, to the shaded parts of this cupcake. And it just adds some fun to the actual cupcake. Now when you, if you do that, what you need to do is you need to set it aside and let it dry. Um, because if you flip it over, you're gonna get glitter glue all over. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna add some glue to this piece and then layer that on top there. But you can see how quickly this can go together. And then for the front of my envelope, I'm going to take a strip of seven and a half by half inch um, white cardstock and just another scrap of um, <laughs> Whisper White. And I'm going to take the words from the, that, one of the words, or sentiments from that set. This one says, You are the sprinkles on the cupcake of life. And I'm going to stamp that down. And then I'm going to come in with the smaller oval punch. And that lines right up inside there. Punch that out. And then I'm going to take another piece of that cardstock. This happens to be crushed curry. And add that to my oval. And then I'm going to take this little strip from the back of the envelope and bring it around to the front. Like a little belly band. And add that on there. And then taking another dimensional or two I think I'll do two this time. I'm going to go ahead and put that right over where that came together. And there you have just a quick, quick envelope card. And this is going to go in there. And then last but not least, I took some of the um, of our one-inch lace ribbon. This happens to be Watermelon Wonder. The other card had the Cucumber Crush. Either one works. I'm going to add that to the top. Add just a tiny bit of baker's twine if I can find the end. Let's bring that around. There we go. You can go ahead and trim up your ribbons. I know I want to be a little careful because that still is wet, so I need that to dry. But there you have it. Just a really cute, simple, fun little gift tag. And with that paper, you'll get lots of different kinds, lots of different styles that you can mix and match the papers with. But um, um, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you 
would like to, I'd like you to visit my website, sign up for my newsletter, um, and I will have a link in here to all the supplies used today if you're interested in that too. So thanks, and I hope you have a great day.